Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to show you how to get set up with XSplit Broadcaster, basically from start to finish, in order to record some videos. So after getting XSplit Broadcaster launched, you're going to see this scene section in the bottom left hand corner, and uh, a bunch of scenes in the bottom right, and if you don't see more scenes, you can always add new ones with this little plus button. And basically, each scene is going to be uh, kind of a setup of all your different images, your video recording, maybe your webcam and other stuff um, that you have combined into one grouping called a scene. And you can switch between them very easily just by clicking between them. You can see um, in this WoW test scene that I had previously, I've already got a bunch of different video sources set up here in the bottom left hand corner. And that's kind of the main focus of what this will be about. Um, getting those sources set up, customizing your settings so that uh, your output is how you want it. And speaking of setting up your output, uh, depending on what resolution you want to record to, in the top right hand corner, you're going to see uh, basically the resolution and the frame rate that you're recording at. Uh, this is particularly important because the larger your resolution is as you record it for a video, uh, the more space it's going to be taking up on your hard drive. So keep that in mind. Uh, but also it means uh, higher resolution is going to capture more detail. So you can set that to whatever you want up to the resolution of your computer monitor. I'm going to leave that at uh, 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080 for now. Uh, you can also customize the frame rate. I believe YouTube does allow for 60 FPS, but 30 FPS is standard and probably enough for both uh, most games. Uh, so now let's go ahead and add in some sources, since that's probably the next thing you want to do. So we can do screen capture, game capture, uh, all kinds of different stuff here. Game capture, uh, auto detect if you want it to pick up on basically whichever game you have open and full screen. Um, then, yeah, that's one option there. But uh, let's say we want to do a screen capture for right now. We can pick uh, basically any section of our screen. So that would be one option. And, uh, well, <laughs> I kind of didn't explain that so much. Let's, let's do that again, and I'll try to uh, walk you through the steps. So screen capture, you capture a region on your screen, and it can be from the top left to the bottom right if you want, or it can be a particular region on your screen like this. Uh, you left click and you drag from the top left corner to the bottom right corner and that gives you the region on the screen which you want to record. And then that will appear in your recording window as a source. Now you could of course have multiple, you can put them wherever you want. Um, and you can stretch them if you want them to appear larger than the actual capture is. Um, so game capture, auto detect. If you have a game, it's going to get captured here and uh, what you would do after it grabs it is just make sure that it's expanded to the full width of the screen. Um, obviously, uh, <laughs> you're recording a game, you probably want it to take up the full window, so keep that in mind. Uh, media files, so this is going to be like if you want to add an image to your screen, which could be a screen overlay. Um, let's say I have this image here of a computer, and for some reason I want that in the bottom left hand corner. And that would be the kind of thing you want to do there. Uh, we can also add in uh, webcams, uh, which can include things like face rig, virtual camera tool, audio devices, and other. So uh, let's see here. I think we'll stick with game capture, and I'll go ahead and launch Hearthstone here as a game we can use for a sample. Okay, and we'll just have that open up in the background. Now, bees, beyond that, we're probably going to want to customize some settings. So you can do that by going to Tools and then Settings, XSplit Broadcaster, General Settings, uh, Audio Devices. Um, do you want it to capture the sound of your computer? Basically, uh, default speakers means whatever basically your default output audio devices, that's what that's going to be set to. Microphone, perhaps even more important. If you have a webcam and uh, you're on a laptop, you're going to need to choose which microphone you want from those. Um, also, if you have like a external microphone, Welcome such back. as the Blue Yeti, that'll be a thing there. Uh, but here I will just use uh, my default microphone there. 
let's go ahead and mute this because we're only interested in actually capturing the footage. So uh, as you can see, uh, the broadcaster, uh, the uh, game capture already went ahead and automatically did that. Oh wait, shit, wrong screen, sorry. Um, as you can see, an XSplit broadcaster, I am using OBS to record this, uh, it's gone ahead, captured the window, and we can stretch that to be the full window, which is probably what we're going to want. Now, you'll notice here that the game is uh, basically over the, um, the PNG down below. So what I want to do here is, um, yeah, you don't right click actually, you just hit move source down, bottom right, or move source up in order to get them displaying properly. So we would do the exact same thing with a webcam capture. Um, got your webcam in the bottom left or the bottom right, and then you stretch it as needed, you put it where you want, and you might want to chroma key it out. Uh, so actually, I haven't uh, really planned on adding it, but let's uh, let's just go ahead and add my default webcam in. So Lenovo EasyCam, I believe that's the one we're looking for here. Add it to the bottom right. Hello, guys. And okay, hopefully it'll let us stretch it here. So select the source in the uh, source area that you want to edit. Drag it to where you need it to go. And if I recall, uh, we can add in chroma key if you right click that and open up the settings. Color key and chroma key, obviously I don't have a green screen for this, but if you're serious about recording videos and you use your webcam a lot, there's a good chance you're going to need this. So, uh, da, da, da. chroma key. Okay, so you key to a certain color, which red, green, blue, and... What would happen is anywhere that you have that color, it's going to filter it out on the screen. So if you have a green screen, you choose chroma key here and it will filter the green out so that you only have yourself or whatever else isn't green in your photo. And you can choose other colors here as well. Play around with the settings a bit, but that's where that's at. Obviously, it's not going to work if uh, you do not have... It's not going to work if you don't have a basically a color screen behind you because it's like you could filter out the red like those curtains but uh, what are you going to do for everything else in the, in the shop and that's why generally speaking uh, you would need to have some kind of recording setup to do that properly um, okay let's see what else what else so making sure that your microphone isn't muted uh, you can see here muting the audio and the microphone you're going to want to do that. Make sure that if you're recording with your microphone that you're actually getting levels here. And we can hit the settings button to go open that up. Um, silence detection. If you want it to stop capturing your microphone while you're not talking, that's a good thing to have there. It kind of reduces some of the background noise a bit. Um, and I guess we can focus on outputs. So. You can either stream to an online service, which you would add up here. Uh, basically, you just connect in your YouTube or Twitch account. Um, but in this case, we could just do a local recording. So clicking on the settings here, we'll be able to get a few more options. Um, notably, what kind of format do you want to output to, FLV or MP4? Generally, I would do MP4 because more uh, editing software is going to record that. If you want, you can split your files. Uh, constant frame rate optimized for YouTube, pretty much self-explanatory there. So let's just say optimized for YouTube, hit OK. Um, and now basically at this point we'd be able to go ahead and record. So for a very basic setup, I think I'm not really missing too much. There's of course extensions that you can add in. Um, I mean other types of uh, sources, this junk down here. So web page URL, if you have like uh, something like uh, shit, what do they call it? Twitch alerts. You can pop Twitch alerts in there as a web page URL, and uh, that should be helpful for you guys if you need that. Um, Skype video, I mean, those kind of things. Uh, pretty self explanatory. If you want an image slideshow, it's up there. But in, for most people, like 95%, 99% of recordings, you're not going to need any of this junk. So we can just leave it there. And I think that pretty much covers it. So as long as you have your recording set up, uh, you've controlled your resolution in the top right, you're making sure that your microphone's working and you've set up the right one, all of your sources are ordered properly, 
then you should be able to go ahead and record an exploit broadcaster. Um, so I've been Chris, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you guys out for getting set up with a basic recording setup. Uh, and I will see you guys in my future video content. Until then.